why, why do I have to apologize for doing something that I was supposed to do? When we, when we get drafted into this league, they tell us, do you, do you have goals of winning the championship? That's our mission. That's our goal. Wherever we end up, we're fortunate to be with a team that shares the same mindset. The players sh share the same mindset to want to come out and, and believe in the process every single day. That's been my mission forever. I've done it. I tried it in Milwaukee. I failed. Tried it in Seattle. I failed. One in Boston and then ultimately going to, to Miami. Just to be clear, so they're salty. You're not. I, I never was salty. You, you win a championship yeah. together in 2008. That's why I was shocked the day when I, I tried to at least give KG Pound. It wasn't, you know, yeah, I'm, a, I'm against you now. I understand. Like, you know, I'm an enemy to you now. But it's not personal. The only way we can appreciate what it is that we do is by our opposition. We understand our true greatness because the people next to us or across the, the aisle pushes us to be who we need so to be. So how did you feel because KG got Area 21, Max, and he got Area 21, and the crew showed up on TNT? Paul Pierce was there. Rondo was there. Perkins was there. They were all talking about you. How did you feel when you saw that well, segment? Two things. I was disappointed that... that Perkins was there. We had a conversation two weeks earlier, and he said he was out of the fray because he knew who I was and where I stood. Big Baby was there. He was talking about me, and Big Baby, I took underneath my wings, and I tried to do everything I can to help him be who, needed, who he needed to be for this league and grow him in this game. So those two players weren't even on the team right. in 2011, so they didn't even, they, they, they didn't even have the right to comment. Mm. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the other two... It's just you're talking about something. I would have I would have much more appreciated if you brought me on the show, and you told me, you know, let, let's clear the air, let's figure this out. KG like, like, should have invited like, you on yeah, the show. Yeah, let's, let's mend the fences instead of being, you know, sitting here talking about why you're mad at me. You know, I'm a brother. KG and I grew up together. Like you're you're over here. Like where you we you forgotten where we the 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 genesis of our relationship. Like, we were kids struggling to make it, mm. to make a life better for our kids and our families. Like, at what point do you just say, you know what, it's, it's just basketball. It's not personal. Like, we Ray, won why do you think they're so in their feelings about this as opposed to you? It seems that you're saying, hey, this is a business. I made a decision for my family. There are things bigger than basketball. And it seems as though they are very hurt by it. Why do you think that is? Especially that, KG. That is a question that you have to ask them. But <clears throat> one thing that, that I talk about in my book is uh, that I want people to get from my book is as, as people, we, we've all done great things and, you know, good things and bad things in our life. But what makes us truly great is our ability to pick up from our mistakes. Mm -hmm. we've all, I've all made mistakes. I can admit that. You know, the things that have gone wrong in my life, they've only got me to where I am today. I can tell you what I've done wrong. You know, I can tell you the, the, the shots I've missed, they've made me work harder. So I can admit that, you know, I, I should have, like, really thoroughly engaged those guys as I was going through the process, but it's difficult at the time. All right. Totally understand. But now that you didn't engage those guys, as you eloquently stated, time has passed. We obviously know they have feelings about it. Have you reached out? Do you intend to reach out to them? Do you wish they'll reach out to you? Where are we now? Well, going back to your, your point when you said the three of us, you know, Paul, Kevin, and I, we, we came in this thing together. Um, I felt extremely bad about not having a conversation with Paul at all. I had the opportunity in China to speak with him and say, listen, you know, it was not my intention to not say anything to you. I feel extremely bad about that. I should have ca called you. I should have texted you. I should have alerted you that this was coming down the pipeline. As I was conversating with Kevin by text, I was in a position where I was upset. I was angry because what was going on wasn't going the way I wanted it to go. Um, but at the same time, I, 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 he can't say that I wasn't talking to him and telling him what was going on because he knew as I, I, as I texted him. So now as we sit here, it's like, dude, there's no, there's no ill will. I don't have any angst. You know, these guys I love. These guys, like, you know how many, you ask the kids in Wellesley, Massachusetts, how many times they came to my house during Halloween and how many times they seen Kevin, Big Baby, Big Poppy, Kevin Euclid, Nate Robinson dressed up in a costume over my house and trick-or-treating. Like, we spent time in each other's homes. Like, yeah, we went to each other's events. There's some events we didn't go to, but we all always supported each other. That's why when 
I'm sitting out listening to these things like I'm not a part of the big three. I was like, first of all, we're the big 12 because it took 12 of us. I don't leave anybody out. Eddie House, James Posey, uh, Big Baby, uh, PJ Brown, Sam Cassell, everybody was important. Scott Pollard, like it was all of us and we were all involved and that's what I wanted people to know. It wasn't just the three of us and we all shared something special. I know each one of their kids. Every time I see them, I know their wives. So when I talk about them, I always say it in respect to Brandy and to Julie. You know, all the people that we spend time with.